Dennis, how does it feel to finally be here? It's amazing finally to be here after six months. I waited almost six months to have my first day here. And uh, now to see everybody, every player, the coaching staff, the coach, uh, it's nice. It's a nice feeling and I'm happy to be here. Were you nervous when you turned up, meeting all these new people, trying to remember names? Yes, a little bit because everybody's new, I'm new, so it's trying to figure out how the, how the other person is. So in the beginning, yes, when I drove, drove here, but now it's, it's gone. Last year you spent in Belgium. How do you feel that year went for you? <sighs> to be honest, it was a really good and hard year because we, in the end, we were second in the league and we were fighting for the first place. Uh, and to be first, almost all the season or from October on uh, to be first and then in the end to be second it was quite hard but and individually it was a nice season for me I scored 26 goals I had 12 13 assists so I was just happy you know it was my season finally I have a, a really good season in a professional division or in professional league and uh, was happy in winter to sign here in Brighton and you said you had a personally a brilliant season the best season you've had in your career what was behind that my teammates my coach he gave me the confidence i need uh, and he understand how i was how i am and how to handle me and that was a key part of the season just to be happy that my wife finally after uh, after we married was there you know and uh, everything was settled and the team, of course, you know, they trust me even if, I have, if you have a bad day or if I had a bad day. They, they know what my qualities were and uh, they knew that uh, in some point in time I would score and help the team. And that was the reason, you know, then you had fun, you had guys you hang out with. And that was a key part of, uh, for me, to be that successful. Sounds like you're going to miss it a little bit. I hope I will get the same treatment here. <laughs> Were you being told that there was targets that you needed to hit or did you feel it in the back of your head, I need to have a really good season here because I want to go back to Brighton, I want to play in the Premier League. Was there extra pressure on you? No, for me the pressure was gone. I done my move and now I can play free. You know, I have signed already and now it's even better for me to play free without having pressure. I can, if I have fun, I almost I always play at my best, so it was nice. And you did mention your wife, you recently got married. How supportive has she been? Because often the forgotten partner in these situations. Most of the time she, do, uh, she do, uh, does the work. Yeah, and uh, it was good for me because if I, when I lived alone, I didn't live like a professional player. I just lived in the day. I had nothing to do. Just after training, I was doing some stupid stuff, you know, and uh, when she arrived and moved to me, I, I became a little bit, not a little bit, I became more professional with my uh, eating style, with uh, the recovery and everything. And like, if a move like this, she's helping me a lot. She, she's telling me, don't worry, I will do this or she will do this. And uh, you can just focus on your football. And there's a big part uh, to have a wife like this to support me in these kind of things. And on the pitch, what kind of style did you play in Belgium um, compared to Brighton? Is it similar or uh, is there stuff you can take from Belgium over to here? <coughs> in Belgium we try to press all the time and uh, in Brighton you have more more times to ball. You, they try to play football and both sides fits me so I just try to have my spot and fit in the team and try to adapt from Belgium now to, to, to the Premier League. So obviously you've met Graham before and I'm assuming you've met him this morning. Uh, yes, I, I had a uh, FaceTime call with him before I signed and uh, it's the first time now I, saw, I see him in real life. What do you make of Graham and his style of football? Because he gets a lot of praise for it. I heard. <laughs> so it fits me perfectly how he wants to play football. I like the, that he wants to play even against the big teams. And uh, now it's just... Uh, Adaptation, you know, I just need to adapt now how he wants to play, maybe in small areas, what he wants to, what he wants from me as a striker. And uh, he thought, he told me like he wants to work on my, on the things I can do really good to be even better at this. And uh, now it's time to put the work in.
So obviously we've got Danny Welbeck and Neil Mope here. Uh, are Albion fans going to see a similar style from you uh, on the pitch? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> uh, Welbeck, you know how he plays, so it's not quite the same player like me, but uh, Mope, I think it's similar to me. And Welbeck is, for me, is a legend. <laughs> so if Danny Welbeck's a legend to you, does that make you a Man United fan by any chance or just because of what he's achieved in the game? No, uh, when I was young, uh, when he played for United, I was like a big Welbeck fan. And now I have the chance to play with him. So that's why I, I'm saying he's for me a legend because I was, when I grew up, I was not even grow up when I was 15, I was looking up to him. And now I have the chance to, uh, to play next to him or to play with him or to, and to train with him. So that's, that, that's what I mean. I'm assuming that when the fixtures came out, you must have had a look at them and knowing that we now play Man United away on the first day of the season. What, what would it mean to you to make your Premier League debut at Old Trafford? It would mean everything because then I know I, I have played my first game or the first minute in the Premier League and then I can call myself a Premier League player. So what can the Albion fans expect from you as a player? Like Some of them will have followed you in Belgium, others may not have seen anything of you. So what, what are they going to get? <laughs> what they're gonna get? I try to give them the best tennis uh, I can possibly be. So uh, I'm just, uh, how you say? I'm just um, trying to give the fans what they want, and they want uh, a scorer, a goal scorer, and I try to give him, uh, give him them. So let's see what happens. How confident are you in your ability to translate 26 goals? from abroad into the Premier League? I'm really confident, uh, but uh, I don't think I, I would score 26 goals because in, in the Belgium League is easier than in the Premier League. But I try to, I will not say a number now because then everybody will fix, will say, hey, you want to score these, kind of, uh, these many goals. So I just try to score Maybe not 26, but a little bit less. <laughs> what kind of finisher are you as a striker then? Are, are you a six yard box? Are you going to be scoring 25 yarders? Ooh. Headers? What, where, in the where's it coming yeah, from? In the box, I can score in the box. I can score outside the box. I can score from the middle line. I can score from everywhere. It does it really, I have no typical type just in the box or just there. I can score from everywhere and I try to score from everywhere with the head, with left, with right, with the shoulder, with, with everything. Okay, and last but not least, I've seen a few pictures of this celebration. Is there any chance we can get a quick preview now or do we have to wait for you to score a goal? <laughs> this one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> and what's the other one? To be honest, I want to stick with this. I want to stick with this celebration, so. Well, hopefully we'll see it 26 times this year. Hopefully 35. <laughs>